Hello everyone, today I'm making a quick tutorial on how to install custom maps for Hard Bullet VR. Now I just made this mod not too long ago, and I just wanted to show off how to actually use it because it's a little bit tricky. So uh, let's just get started. So the first thing you want to do is go over to the Hard Bullet Nexus Mods page, which will be in the description, and you have to look for this mod right here. It'll be called Bullet Menu. So you got to click on that. It might not be right there, but you just got to look for Bullet Menu. Now you want to click on download and then wait till this loads. All right, now once you're logged in, sorry about that, you want to click manual download right here. All right, I'll bring you to this page. You want to click on slow download and then you'll just wait for it to start. Once it's started, you want to download this anywhere you want. So I'll just put it right here. You want to open that file location right here and you want to extract it. Once that's done, you'll get three files. You get a how to use file, a bullet menu.dll file, and a bullet menu file. Now what you want to do is go to Steam, go to your hard bullet directory, which will be manage browse local files, and it's right here. You want to go to mods. Now once you're here, uh, you want to go to this file once again and move bullet menu into your mods folder. I'll just replace that. And then you want to move your bullet menu.dll into this folder. Once you've done that, now that you have bullet menu installed, we can actually get on to installing custom maps. So now you want to open your browser. You want to go back to Hard Bullet Nexus Mods. And you want to go to the custom maps mod, which is right here. Now once you're here, you want to click manual. And then it'll come up with this, but we, install, we already installed it, so it's fine. And then we click download. And then we click slow download. And then it'll just wait till it's a start. Okay, now once it's started, you can download it anywhere you'd like. So I'll just put it right in this folder right here. A quick save. And then I'll look for this, show and explore. And then you'll see it right here and just extract it. Now that you have that extracted, you can go back to your hard bullet mods folder. You want to double click on this and then drag custom apps into this folder. I don't have to replace that, I just already have it. Um, so once you've done that, you want to run your game once so that it can create the proper directories. It's creating custom maps folder right here. That's what you want to have. Make sure you have that after you run the game. So once you've done that, you want to look for some custom maps. So those will be on the Hard Bullet Nexus page. So you can find them anywhere here. So let's go for the Minecraft Village one. I'm going to click download here. Uh, it'll come up with this, but we already have it installed, so it's fine. We'll click download. And I'll click slow download, wait till it's just start. Now that it's started, you can put this anywhere you'd like. So I'll just put it right here and then save. Now we're going to open this directory. We're going to extract it. And then move any file that has the name .hbm at the end into your custom maps folder. And make sure it ends with .hbm or else it won't work. So open your custom maps and then drag of whatever the name is dot hbm into this folder so now once you've done that let's hop into the game okay now that you're in the game you'll see a bullet menu thing right here and you'll see all your custom maps right now you'll just have minecraft village installed or whatever you installed uh but i have all these other maps um so now you just want to load into playground i'm going to use unity explorer but just do it the normal way in game all right now that you're into playground you want to click on whatever map you want to load so since we downloaded the minecraft village i'll click on minecraft village .hbm. And now we're in the Minecraft village right now. So that's pretty much it. You know, you can get any custom app you want and it's really simple. All right, you just gotta install the .hbm file into your custom mass folder and it'll appear right here. Uh, quick heads up, you can only have 10 custom apps at a time, but that should be fine because you know, 10 is a lot. Uh, so I hope this helped and I hope you enjoy custom apps. 